hi guys how are you guys doing welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe in today's video i'm going to be talking about one of the most requested video which is how to migrate to poland making use of work permits right this is one of the most requested video and this is because i also understand the fact that it is also a route in which you can migrate to poland and also you can also make use of study routes and many other routes right so i made use of the study routes to migrate to poland and i have a lot of videos where i've been able to explain like different ways or the process the documents the application everything you need to know about how to migrate with study routes right I feel like at the end of this video you'll be able to make a decision just in case if you are stuck in between choosing a study route or a work route once you are done with this video go ahead and check the description box and watch the videos that has to do with studying this will help you to make your comparison and also help you to decide on what route you want to work with right so the first thing i'm going to say is because this is work permit it simply means that this is a way or a process of migrating to poland making use of a job right however there are different kind of jobs you can use you know to be able to migrate you can use factory work you can use plumber you can use carpentry work you can use um plug or fruit speaker you can use pick cutter you know you can even use like a formal corporate job like maybe an accounting job a banking job an engineering job an it job you can basically use any kind of job to migrate to poland it simply means that you have to have a job first and then use the job to process your permits or use the job to process you know your migration to poland however you can make use of any job at all to migrate right that being said now the first thing i'm going to say is or the first documents you need which i feel like whether you are ready to travel now or to migrate now the most important and the first document you need is to have your international passport it is also very very compulsory for you to have your international passport because you cannot start any process at all either through study either through work either through any other means without having your international passport so i'm going to say that if you are watching this video and you have the intention of traveling very soon perhaps a year or two and you don't have it international passport this is the video to remind you to please go ahead and get your international passport ready right so i believe that at this point now we both agree that we all have our international passports at this point and if you don't please go ahead and get that so of course international passport totally depends on the country you are coming from right so now the next thing you have to do is to get a job right you can either get a job like i said you can make use of any job i'll be you know turning my head down just in case if you see me bending my head it's because i have it scripted out on my phone so that i can be able to explain to you guys better once you've gotten a job right now in this case like i said any type of job once you've gotten the job it simply means that the organization or the agent or the organization or the company that gave you a job has to provide certain documents for you this is what you are going to take to the polish embassy to be able to get your work permits right so the company or the organization or the agency you've got the job from is going to provide you with different documents which i'm going to be listing out in this video and also documents required for you to be able to process it up to your interview and up to your visa process so the first one we need now is your work permits right the company has to give you like a job placement letter you need like a job placement letter from the company stating that you know i have given you a job you have a job with me you have to work for maybe 18 hours or 17 hours or 14 hours you have to work for you know this is definitely just a letter that states that you have a job and it's also similar to the study routes because in the case of the study routes it simply means that you have a school that has given you admission to say you know we've admitted you into this school into this course for this duration so but in the case of a job or a work permit now it simply means that the company or the organization or the agency will give you a job placement letter stating that you've been employed with us to work as this and also to work during this period of time and this is where you are supposed to work so you need a job placement letter from your company organization or the agency 
another thing also another document you need is your accommodation letter of course you should have an accommodation letter because you have to prove that you've gotten a job or you have a job you also need an accommodation where will you be staying when you migrate you know you need to also get your accommodation letter and i'm gonna say that when you're getting your accommodation letter it's actually okay or is best for your accommodation to be within the area or the environment where you have your job so let's say for an example you have a job or your job your job placement letter is in warsaw which is the capital right it doesn't really make sense or it doesn't make sense at all for your accommodation to be in Pozna or in krakow it simply means that how will you be working in in warsaw and then you live in another city so we are getting your accommodation letter you have to get your accommodation letter within the location of where your job placement is so if your job placement is in warsaw your accommodation has to be in warsaw you know and that is something you also have to do when you've got your job placement so that you can know what area or what city to get your accommodation letter from documents you need now from the organization or the company is a contract of mandates now this contract of mandates is simple simply an agreement or a contract that states that you have contracts with us in this organization for this period you know we have fully um, legal and we've given you the permission or the authority to work with us for this period for this duration just like a mandate like a letter of an agreement between the employer or the organization and you and this is given to you by the company right or the organization that employs you so in this contract of mandate also it also states like your rights your responsibility you have in the company the benefits that comes with your job the rules the regulation things you are supposed to do and things you are not supposed to do so contract of mandate is also a document that you need however it is given to you by the company or the organization another one another document you need also is a guarantee form or a guarantee letter so you also need this guarantee letter or guarantee form from the company we simply says that we've guaranteed that you are working with us and you know we are fully responsible for you to process your work permits we are fully aware of you know the difference now between a guarantee and a sponsorship letter in terms of study routes because if you are coming through the study routes you need a sponsorship letter to state that you know your sponsor which can be your parents or your sibling you know stating that we are responsible for your studies and we are sponsoring you we are responsible for your studies your accommodation your feeding and we are responsible right that is a sponsorship letter for study but when it comes to work it simply means you have to bring a guarantee letter or a guarantee contract that states that the organization or the company has guaranteed you you know to work and they've guaranteed the Polish embassy to give you you know your work permits and you know they are fully responsible for adventure there's anything so you basically need all these documents from the employee or the company or the organization and of course once they give you work permits or once you um once you have a job with any company, they'll definitely attach all these documents to you. So these are just like the documents you need from your organization. And this is what you're going to use when you want to apply for your work permits here in Poland. So the next set of documents you need now is what you need to be able to get your permits from the Polish embassy. So these four sets that I said are given to you by the contract or, you know, either the company or the organization or the agency helping you to get the job or the company you got the job from. That is the first set of the documents. I mentioned now this period now or these sections of these documents are documents you need in order for you to get your work permit from the Polish embassy I hope you guys understand this but if you have any question in the course of this video please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section and also I am pretty much open to help as many people as possible and the link to my social media is on the screen and also you can check out the link in the description box you can drop a comment or you can decide to reach out to us you know either on our social media platform on the screen or in the description box so the next document you need now is your complete application form this is what you have to fill on the polish embassy website and when you are filling it it has a section for study or for work please go ahead and pick the sector of work because you are coming for work don't make the mistake of picking a sector for studies when you are coming for work and vice versa so go ahead now to the polish embassy website and fill the application form and also make sure you click the sector for work if you want me to make a video on how to fill the application form please go ahead and drop it in the comment section perhaps the next video might be how to fill the application form just so i can help anybody who is finding it difficult or doesn't really know how to fill the application form so you can go ahead and drop it in the comment section if you want me to put up a video on that So 
so another thing or another document you need is your recent passport photograph your recent passport photograph and there is a measurement for the type of passport that the polish embassy needs and they have it on the website i can't really remember like the centimeter or the measurements now but check out the website to know the exact uh, measurements of the kind of passports they need and of course they need two passports of your recent photograph but the measurements of this please check the polish website to be able to know the measurements of how your faith should be and how it should also be another document also you need is your insurance because you have to get insured so you also have to get your insurance to cover up like your period of of your work permit right and I'm, and I'm also gonna say that now for the duration of the work permit it totally depends on the contract given to you it could be one year work permit it could be three years work permit you know whichever one is given to you by the company or the organization or the agency it's okay sometimes they might give you one year work permit so that when you get here they want to see how efficient and how effective you have with your job and once you're able to you know put in your best and your efforts and you are efficient enough to automatically have to renew it again for another year so you really don't have to be worried about oh you know when you get here and it's just one year work permit what will you do after that once you are putting in your best and you're getting your jobs done there is every tendency that is going to be renewed again and i think that is just the best way to go about it but if by eventually you are not able to renew it it simply means that you were not able to put in your work or putting your best in into the job that brought you here so either one year or three years you definitely need like your recent um, passport and also all these documents applies no matter like the duration of the process of the period right so you need your insurance right i've mentioned also that you need your insurance also another thing also that you also need is you need an offer letter from the company or the organization and this is almost the same thing as the contract of mandate all these are given to you by the company or the organization so you really don't really need to be bothered about it but also you also need to ensure that your company gives you all these documents so you need like a job offer letter from your employer this time stating that okay you'll be working under me in this department or in this faculty or you are working under me in this sector of the factory or you are working under me in this sector of the picking of fruits you know you are working under me in this sector you are working from monday to friday from 8 a.m to 6 p.m you know you just need all those documents from the company to state that you know letter or job offer you know like this is what your job offer entails you to do and this is what the contract entails you to do when you get the job Thing you also need also is your cv you need like your cv to of course you are going for a job right so you need your cv to show like the history or like um the history or the process of your job experience right so whichever job you are coming for even if you are coming for factory or you are coming for picking of fruits or you're coming for a restaurant or anything you need to have like a cv you know of course i believe like everyone knows what a cv is so you need a cv if you're coming for a job permit because you have to like state like your age your work you have to state like your work experience the experience you've had working in a factory or the experience you've had working in a nine-to-five or experience you've had working as a banker as an accountant as an engineer you need your cv basically because you're coming for work so you need to have like a detailed cv and make sure that you're making use of the format of the european cv which is like the europe past um, form of cv so make sure your cv aligns with the european type of cv which is europa so i think that will also help you to be able to write your cv in a way that fits into the european market since poland is in europe and you're coming into poland right so you also need that also another document you need also is your flight itinerary you need to also show like your flight itinerary showing like your um going trip and your return trip also you need like a flight itinerary to show your going and your coming back trip and like i said most times the work permit is always for one year and even for studies right so for an example in the case of studies if you are doing a two years degree course or a four years degree course your your visa is just for one year so let's say you are studying for four years or you are studying for two years right the visa you have is just for one year when you get there then you renew it to do your trc right so when you are booking your flight also you are booking for that one year not the four years because your visa is for one year right so in the case also for job also even though your job is one year contract or three years contract the visa is just for one year so your flight itinerary also is basically just for one year so you have to book from your intended date of travel and also your intended date of return 
I hope you guys understand but if you don't please drop the questions in the comment section or you can reach out to me if you need any form of assistance I have my Instagram and my Facebook handle on the screen and also in the description box if you haven't subscribed to my video this time please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to share this video like and also drop your comment it goes a long way to help people so it doesn't take you anything if you do that okay thank you so also the consulate or the embassy also has the right to run a background check on you this is something that they are definitely going to do to ensure that you know you are authentic you've not committed any fraud in the country you are coming from you know just like to check a background check or to test run or to know a lot about you to ensure that you are not bringing in any form of illegal things into the country and also to test run that truly you have a job they will definitely confirm that you have a job they will have a way to confirm that you have an accommodation you have a job all these things please ensure that they are accurate because even in the case of study also when you have your admission letter the embassy also reaches out to the school to confirm that your admission is authentic and also you have admission so in the case of work permits also they will also reach out to the company or the organization or the agency to ensure that truly you have a job before you are applying so you have to get that done okay so of course you also need to pay your visa um, fee this is when you get to the embassy for your interview you have to pay your visa fee at the interview point so let me know if you guys have any questions and i hope i've been able to you know explain or to show or to let you guys know about the document required for your visa permit in poland if you have any question or if you want any area or anything you want me to talk about please go ahead and put it down in the comment section once again thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and guess what i'll definitely see you guys in my next one bye